The aim of this video is to explain the genetics of amylogenesis imperfecta. Enamel is the only mineralized structure of the body with an ectodermal origin. It is the strongest and hardest tissue in the body and acts as an efficient barrier against environmental assaults whether mechanical, chemical, or physical. Enamel is incapable of regeneration or repair as ameloblasts, the specialized post-mitotic ectoderm-derived cells that produce the enamel matrix, disappear when the teeth erupt within the oral cavity. These ameloblasts are indeed the specialized cells in charge of enamel formation. They differentiate from the inner dental epithelium originating from the oral ectoderm, during the bell stage of odontogenesis. Ameloblasts assume multiple roles during amylogenesis. They produce the proteins of the highly organized enamel matrix such as enamelin, amylogenin, ameloblastin in the secretory phase. In the maturation phase, they mineralize this matrix and then mature it by removing almost all the proteinic scaffold via enzymes such as KLK4 and MMP20, to allow hydroxyapatite crystal growth toward 96-98% mineral content. Alterations on more than 70 genes coding for proteins involved in enamel formation can result in amylogenesis imperfecta, a heterogeneous group of rare diseases. In 1988, Whitcup proposed a revised classification of amylogenesis imperfecta AI, considering the nature of the enamel defects as well as the mode of transmission. AI was divided into four main categories. Type 1 hypoplastic, type 2 hypomature, type 3 hypermineralized also named hypocalcified, and type 4 hypomature and hypoplastic with torodontism with subtypes. Whitcup's classification has been commented on by other authors who have proposed adding molecular data. Amylogenesis imperfecta are rare diseases. They can exist as isolated genetic diseases, where the only developmental anomaly is limited to enamel. Or they can be associated to other symptoms in syndromes. Depending on the gene involved, different modes of inheritance are possible. Autosomal dominant, a disease is transmitted in the autosomal dominant mode if the gene in question is carried by an autosome and if the presence of a single mutated allele is sufficient for the disease to manifest. Heterozygous individuals for the causative gene are diseased. Autosomal recessive, both parents carry the mutated gene and the normal gene, but they are not affected they are said to be heterozygous. The child AA inherited both mutated genes from his father and his mother, he is suffering from AI. It is said that he is homozygous affected individual. Like their parents, children AA are not sick but are carriers of the mutated gene and are at risk of passing on to their offspring. They are heterozygous healthy carriers. The child AA has not inherited any mutated gene, neither that of his mother nor that of his father, he is not sick and not at risk of transmitting the disease. He is said to be homozygous healthy. Another mode is through X-linked dominant inheritance. Both sexes can be affected by the disease. But in general, heterozygous girls are less severely ill than hemizygous boys. There are more women affected more lightly than men. Transmission is vertical, if the disease is compatible with fertility, there are patients in all generations. It differs from autosomal dominant inheritance because there is never a fathersome transmission. To understand rare diseases and their associated dental anomalies, it is important to gather information about tooth development and involve molecular effectors. Indeed, embryonic development of the mouth and teeth is governed by the same genes and regulatory systems that control the formation of other tissues and organs, such as the eye, kidney, heart, immune system, nervous system, bone. It is then critical to take a detailed familial and medical history, as well as to perform a precise examination of the oral cavity and other systems, seeking additional associated features. 
Offering genetic diagnosis could facilitate disease recognition and management. Amelogenesis imperfecta can be described in isolation or associated with other symptoms in syndromes. These symptoms could be affecting the head and neck area, skin, nails and hair as other ectodermal organs, skeleton and bones, muscle, neurological system, cardiovascular system. Clinical diagnosis and identification of the genes involved are thus difficult to make and to implement, leading patients and their families into diagnostic wandering. In order to improve the knowledge of this disease, the quality of diagnosis, access to care and management of the patients, the scientific work carried out brings together clinicians, dentists, physicians, researchers, academics, patient support groups and various health professionals and combines clinical, preclinical bioinformatics, genetic, omics and biological or even evolutionary approaches for better understanding of these diseases. Thanks to accelerated developments in genetics and the emergence of high throughput sequencing techniques, NGS, it is now possible to use genetic tests to speed up diagnosis and, as a result, improve the treatment of patients with rare diseases. Different benefits could arise from genetic testing for the patient and the family. Providing an accurate diagnosis of a rare disease, ending diagnostic wandering, triggering retrophenotyping, modifying a clinical diagnosis, informing, offering genetic counseling, guiding therapeutic management, identifying new disease, new genes. Different type of DNA sequencing techniques exist for molecular diagnosis. Targeted next generation sequencing panel, exome sequencing, or even genome sequencing. Since the discovery of the first gene underlying an amelogenesis imperfecta from mapping of amelix in 1989 to its causative role in amelogenesis imperfecta in 1990, more than 70 genes have been discovered as important for amelogenesis and its defects. Typical phenotype-genotype correlation observed in patients presenting with isolated amelogenesis imperfecta are seen on intraoral pictures and radiographs. This syndromic condition, named kolschutter tun syndrome, is due to mutations in ROGD genes. It combines early-onset epilepsy with hypometer amelogenesis imperfecta. Individuals present a yellow-brownish discoloration of enamel affecting both primary and permanent dentitions. The overall shape of teeth is preserved. There is no differential contrast on x-rays between enamel and dentine. Targeted next-generation sequencing panels and exome and genome sequencing are techniques which offer new perspectives to understand underlying molecular mechanism of amelogenesis imperfecta. Discovering variants in genes involved in syndromic amelogenesis imperfecta, with as example, for example, like CNNM4 associated to Conroe dystrophy, PDR72 associated to nephrocalcinosis, FAM28 as underlying the, the underlying cause of enamel renal syndrome, SLC13A5 associated to epilepsy, 
So discovering this variance in, in this gene transformed patient global care. Unraveling the genetic basis of amelogenesis imperfecta sheds light on Whitcock's amelogenesis imperfecta classification. 